Welcome Virgos. This is the Empress. I'm happy to be back with you guys. Yes, I've been in my A for about three or four weeks. I was in the process of moving. So I'm just getting settled in guys. So thank you guys for your patience. Miss you guys so much. But I am most definitely back. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get into it Virgos. So Give me a message for the Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter. Ooh, that jump. Okay. All right. We got a couple. Okay. I got some something going on here. I got something going on here that you maybe could be feeling like some like you found your person. Some of you may have had to release yourself from a past person to let new love come in. Some of you are deciding to let go of control issues. Someone could be controlling someone through sex. Um, and I feel like some of you decided to like let that situation there go. Okay, so you're staying optimistic in love, a lot of playful energy, not taking anything too serious at this point. I do see you um, open to expressing uh, how you feel, but I see someone from the past could possibly still be lingering around. So some of you may have a new person, um, but I'm, I'm getting like a lingering past person, okay? Like somebody from the past is could still be lingering around. Yeah. See, somebody wants some uh, type of forgiveness for being controlling or trying to control a situation. I'm getting as well, could possibly be, um, you could have been going through a, a temporary separation with your person because, um, you know, the situation just isn't requited. It isn't bringing you any type of balance. So there may be a separation. And during that separation, someone could have found someone new. Okay. Um, that's what I'm getting here. And I'm also getting, like I said, I'm getting that there's a past person could still be lingering around that. Could, I feel like maybe you guys aren't taking this past person serious, like that serious. It's just something to do. I'm seeing that as well. I'm getting like you're very open. I'm, I'm getting like you're open. You're open to new. You're open to, you know, something new coming in. But, you know, some of you are still kind of like, you know, dancing around with the past person. Okay. Someone... From the past. Tell me more. What's going on with Virgo? What is, what is going on with Virgo? Give me a message for Virgo for August, please. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles could be dealing with the Capricorn or Taurus. Um, this is the slowest moving night in the tarot. So... Maybe you're moving slow, okay? You're taking your time. I do see you're trying to manifest something here, but maybe you're taking your time because you're looking for clues. You're looking for clues. I feel like you're being observant. You're being observant, yeah. You're looking for the truth in a situation. You feel like someone could be juggling You feel like this person could be juggling with the two of pentacles here. They definitely could have someone new with this ace of cups here. The six of cups and the king of pentacles. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got lovers here at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with the Gemini. And we got the two of swords and the judgment. So there is getting ready to be a judgment call here. Um, a final decision is needing to be made or is possibly getting ready to be made. Somebody here is at a crossroad. And I'm getting too many signs of someone juggling, okay, with the two of swords 
and the lovers as well as the two of pentacles yeah see somebody's just going to, is out having flings okay the sun knight of wands and the ace of wands somebody is for sure for sure having flings here like one night stands um Somebody is out here having having some fun, for sure. Okay, now tell me why the magician is here. The page of wands. Maybe you feel like this person is slow to move their feet when you ask them for something. And your intuition is telling you to save, save your save your money. This person could be making you feel like you're asking for too much. Like you're forcing them to do things that they don't want to do. The tower. And the five of wands, yeah. Okay, so I'm getting... Somebody's making somebody... This person is pissing you off. I feel like some of you may even want to get revenge. May want some get back. May want some karma to come this person's way. Somebody may have, this person may have been portraying to you that they changed, that they aren't willing to run back to this person or that they aren't going to behave in this childish manner. We got the Queen of Swords here, someone uh, in the Seven of Cups. They may have told you that they had cut off their options. Could be dealing with us. Leo here with the Sun, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Queen of Swords. Strength card here. I see you trying to stand strong and stay confident in this situation, but this person is starting to piss you off. You ask this person where they at, what they're doing, Knight of Cups in the chariot, could be dealing with the cancer, but this person just leaves you disappointed with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords here. This person leaves you extremely disappointed, like they aren't putting any, any effort so you could be telling this person, look, if this is what you're going to do, if this is how you're going to behave, then you can leave. Okay. I feel like at this point you're, you're tired. Okay. You're tired. This may have been going on for a while now. You want 10 of cups energy. Okay. You want this 10 of cups energy. You may feel like this person can't provide you with that. You may feel like this person can't, they're just in, incapable of getting to that point with you. Four of Wands here with the Ace of Swords. Someone here could be married or there's a live-in situa live situation. That's the Seven of Swords. Hermit, you guys' energy. You found out that this person has been being sneaky, being deceptive, and doing something behind your back here. You may have found out that this person is married. You may have found out that this person may have lied and said that they, they don't live with someone when they actually do. Um, you found out some truth or you're investigating and you're possibly getting ready to find out some truth about this person. card fell on the floor but we're not going to use that card it was the ten of pentacles but let's see um maybe you've been waiting for some type of call maybe you've been waiting to hear some type of uh hear something from this person in the recent past maybe you've been rejecting some phone calls but i feel like maybe you feel rejected i'm getting like a real sad energy like a sad energy here like this person has been bringing you like bad news um Maybe you were waiting for this person to reach out to you. Maybe this, okay, we got the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. So that's some, someone being at a distance from you. So maybe you were waiting for this person to come towards you. We got the Moon and the Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting for some type of secret to come out. Okay, you're waiting for something to be illuminated. I feel like you're looking for clues. You're trying to find out. But the thing about it is, is 
it's going to come to the light. You may find out that this person betrayed you with this Ten of Swords energy here in the future. The Sun card is here. Something is going to be illuminated. But your intuition, I feel like intuitively you may have already known this about this person. You, you could find out that this person has been keeping th something a secret from you. Why is the sun here? The six of swords. You're waiting. I feel like you could be waiting on this person to make up their mind, make some type of decision. But something here is going to be illuminated. And someone here is trying to... There's a battle here. Someone sees this as a battle. Six of Wands and the Five of Swords. This is someone winning a victory. Okay. After some type of petty... Some type of petty disagreement. Okay. Somebody's... Somebody's sole intentions is to win at, at any cost. At any cost. Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign. A lot of fire here. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody, you feel like, I feel like something you feel like this person is juggling. Or this could be you. <laughs> I mean, take it how it resonates. I feel like you want this person to make up their mind. You want this chapter to be closed. I feel like you already know about this person that that your other that your person could be dealing with. I feel like you already have a clue about it. You want your person to make a choice and close this chapter because they're going back and forth. Like there's your person is just going back and forth. Somebody's going to start feeling guilty or there's a disagreement because I'm getting that there's some type of argument or some type of disagreement here. And somebody just wants to win this argument at any cost, like fighting below the belt and everything. This makes this person feels guilt, feels guilty for juggling. So I feel like you're going to bring this issue, you know, bring it to the forefront um, and this person is going to start feeling guilty or that is your intentions to make this person feel guilty. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah, your person, they already have a, a plan. They have a plan B. They have a plan B already. Somebody here could be saying that, that uh, there could be talks about a divorce for some of you there could this could be a marriage or a separation but somebody is saying no four of cups and the page of pentacles somebody's saying no uh you know let's not take it there and then somebody could be bringing it up like do you want to get a divorce let me know do you want to separate let me know but the thing about this is your person already has a plan b two of wands and the ace of cups Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Ten of Cups want to jump out. It could be a Pisces involved. And we got the Devil here. Why is the Devil? And the Star. And the Lovers. Somebody's hoping that somebody makes the wrong choice. Somebody that you're dealing with is hope the person that you're dealing with is hoping that you make a, a wrong assumption or I'm getting like a wrong I'm getting like a bad vibe but your person has a, a plan B they have a plan B yeah you're telling I feel like you could be telling this person look it's no back and forth it's not gonna be any back and forth or we're done. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Ten of Cups. And the Judgment. So I feel like this person ultimately decides that, hey, you know what? Let's work this thing out. I feel like a Judgment call is going to be made. Could be dealing with the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, 
or for some, you guys are finding uh, your happiness in your finances, okay, in your career. Somebody is saying, look, I don't want to go, I don't want to separate. Let's see what if we can work this out. Let's see what we can do, okay? So I'm getting like a reconciliation. Knight of Swords. The Empress. I'm getting a mother and children. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a mother and children with the Empress here. So this could be a baby mother, baby father situation. But I'm also seeing with the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, I'm just getting like a relationship that is struggling. Okay. Yeah, we get getting wait and see. Okay. So I'm getting, okay. This person comes back around. I feel like you guys are going to get in a bed together possibly here. Um... I feel like I'm just getting real. We'll, let's try to work this out and then we'll see where this goes. Okay. So I'm getting a rekindle. I'm getting a disagreement and a rekindle. Okay. So let's get some um, advice. Give me some advice for Virgos, please. Romance. Helpful people. Meditation brings answers. Spirit is heavily telling you to listen to your intuition. Heavily. Like that came up in the read as well as the advice. So make sure you are listening to your intuition for sure, for sure. All right. So spirit is saying, wait, we got this here with romance. So spirit is saying you're the romance of a lifetime or how you perceive, how you want this connection to go. It may be on hold. Okay, it may be on hold. You're ready. Okay, there's something that you need to reconsider. And it's something about reconsidering something when you're ready on your time. Okay, and keeping, making sure that you keep the right people around you. We got helpful people. Unlikely. Meditation brings answers. So... I just had the same energy and we got abundance. The situation will improve. Your finances will definitely improve, but it looks like you're going to have to go within. You're going to have to get, go, actually go into a meditative state and think about how you want your life to go as far as your romance, as far as your finances, as far as anything that you may feel like could be a little off. Okay. Spirit wants to connect with you. Okay. They're saying right now something is unlikely. Okay. This situation, this romance situation could need to be put on hold so you can focus on improving something for yourself. Okay, we got the situation will improve and abundance here. So it looks like you have a great opportunity in regards to your finances and your abundance. But there's something that you may need, a situation that needs to go on hold in order for you to put your focus where it should be. That's going to give you a more fruitful, a more beneficial outcome. Just at this moment in time, you're ready. You're actually ready to leap into a uh, spirit has, you know, wants to speak with you, wants to give you some of these downloads on how to accumulate abundance and prosperity for you but maybe your focus is too much in on this section of your life and it's not manifesting the way that you want it to manifest so i'm i'm getting we got perfect timing and big happy changes i do feel like 
it's about where your focus is, okay? If this situation isn't growing, you aren't get bearing any fruit from this situation. This situation leaves you feeling drained. And I picked that up on your energy. I'm getting like you feel drained by this situation. Like this situation is just pulling too much away from you. Spirit is saying, look, the perfect time right now is for you to focus on your abundance, your career, your finances, your work, what you do, your goals, things that is going to help push you to the next level not you and this person just you okay um and it looks like big happy changes could be on the forecast for you moving ahead everything is about timing okay because this situation right here is unlikely spirit is wants to speak with you and let you know like you know um the energy that you're pouring into this. How about let's pour that energy over here. Let's let's make this shake over here, baby. All right, so that's the message that I got for my Virgos. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, guys, all of that information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, if you are um, if you would like to support my channel, okay, you can go to my website, www.empressempireoils.com. As well, if you would like to donate to my channel in order to get a reading, the reading is going to be dependent on the size of your donation. So if you donate $5, then you may get a, a three-card reading. If you donate 10 you know, it'll go up as the more you donate. So all of that information is in the drop box below, and I will chat with you guys on another day. Ciao for now.